Yep, that's the classic scream. I always remember that one. That's the one I was talking about earlier. Uh, like, a few minutes ago, actually. That I recognize. That's like the, for me, the scream for this game. Okay. It's here. Oh, mm, good thing it's not very fast. And here. There we go. That didn't hurt. Okay. Camera out. Wow, what what's hurting me? Oh, is it the thing? Yeah. And there we go. Already completed the Rosie. There we go. That's what I want. All right. Let's go. There we go. So yeah, I, th I feel like I never finished saying what I was saying. So, you start like, you already know the whole game, so like they need, at this point, if they don't make something new for you, what are you going to do in the game? It's just going to be the same old game, the one you learn how to play to, to the what you thought was the end of the game, but it's not. Is that all you're going to do now? Just continue the game and nothing's going to happen? So this really is where they get creative. And I really love it. I love what they do in this area. <clears throat> I really enjoy it. Because they did a really nice job of keeping you interested and changing <clears throat> changing up the, the whole game, actually. <clears throat> Because after all, if they didn't, this would be like one of the most boring parts of the game, and it's the end. You you have like a motive, you have everything, the story is already built around you, and then you don't have any any desire to keep on going. Uh, okay, first of all, let's see what we're Yeah. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. I hear footsteps. I want to take pictures. Now let's go in here. That Tannenbaum ain't what you think. Florence Nightingale, huh? That'll all come crashing down for you can say canned tomatoes. I've seen good bunko and I've seen great bunko. But when you walk through Rapture, Hmm. All those years, we thought we were making progress with our skinner boxes and our electric shocks. What a waste of time. Until Adam, you could no more domesticate a child than a boa constrictor. Fontaine gives a such wrong history for a child that he wants to imprint in the child's head. Kidnap a person. He juke a box. Ready to play whatever tune Fontaine wants to hear. Oh, that's me. Oh, lady. What did he do here? Don't trust them, though. 
Not even the table there. So yeah, I really love, even though this is like one of the parts I played the least, which is, it's interesting that you end up playing the least of the end if you don't play it all the way through. Well, that's obvious, I'm just stating the obvious, but like when you when you replay a game so many times you just stop and you don't actually go to the end, which I think is very interesting. So, well, anyway. My camera out. Ready to snap a picture. I electrocuted the water. There shouldn't be anyone alive in the water. Can I go upstairs? Ladders, I mean. Oh, there we go. Here's one. Clever inventor. You invent stations. Truly are a marvel of modern engineering. And now, you'll need fewer raw materials to make what you want. It's not witchcraft, it's clever inventor. Um, don't care. Fontaine's become some kind of boogeyman in Rapture. That myth gives him power. But peel back flim flam and a humbug, he's just another con man. And like all con men, he worries he'll end up on the wrong side of grief. That's why he commissioned a lot of 192, the antidote to the mental control plasmid. Fontaine said I'd better not tell anybody about the antidote, not even Tenenbaum. And Su Chong is inclined to listen. I knew there was something to that. Always secret when with Su Chong, always secret. He must have this lot 192 in his lab near Apollo Square. I once stole a dose and brought it back to my flat on the second floor, but those apes would have taken it back to Fontaine's penthouse upstairs. I never knew what Lot 192 was for, but if Su Chang was doing something in secret, on this I keep my eye. I don't like this any more than you do, kid. But you gotta understand where I'm coming from. I got 12 years down here. Big investment. Man can walk away from a long con like that. Kills me to turn my fist here. But business is business. Don't let it get you down. Won't make a difference when this whole place is big. Alright, let's get this. What's shooting? I feel like I'll, I'll uh, look around this area before I go anywhere. But I do have to come back here, don't I? Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I have to come back here later. So. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, uh, don't. There we go. Not dead yet. I need you. Alive. There we go. I think it's complete now. Alright, I completed research on everything. That is the greatest feat of mankind. Let's do it. I fully researched everything now, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's not here. Where are you pointing me to? Stop confusing me. Oh, okay, you want me to go up. All right. Yeah, so I should look around. I should. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this is a little bit of a blur for me. This area. Don't quite remember it that well. Mm -hmm. You know, I was... This is something that doesn't really have much to do with anything, but... Uh, I was thinking if I, I should talk about the Xbox One on, on a playthrough, but I was like, no, I shouldn't. 
No, you... At least for me. You can do whatever you want. Like, I said I'm, I'm just doing, like, really relaxed, not really minding, and I really am not. I'm not trying to make this crazy. I'm trying to 100% of the time and, like, be funny and entertain you. Play through. Uh, but, um... I still think that when you're playing a game, you should never talk about stuff that is pertaining to, like, one moment. Like, like the Xbox One, like the launch of Xbox One. So many myths that we have now um, won't exist. And that goes with everything. If, as long as you talk about something that's new, there will always be something that won't exist in the near future. So... It's for the sake of the people watching, really. If you are going to make a playthrough, don't talk about stuff that might not exist in a couple months. Like questions and stuff that... Really... Um... Hey. Uh... Yeah, that really won't matter in a, in a couple months. So it really is up to the person who's doing it. Most people don't care. But I, I care. I don't know why. I really care. I don't like to speak about current stuff. Don't run away. Uh, yeah, but that's just me. You know, that's that's how I like to make my playthroughs try to keep away from the current stuff so it, in a way it keeps it it's really good for I said this but like anyone can watch it it's even though like it, it brings a sense of nostalgia you want to like in a way if it's a boring part of the game you want to keep them interested and if it's something they know about and they know it doesn't exist anymore Obviously, it's interesting to see how people thought at the time, but like, um, I at least I think people would be more interested if it was something that st is still like, it still makes sense on when they're watching. So I try to keep away from stuff like that. Obviously, it's not always possible. Hey, dude. Is there another one? Nah. So yeah, that's just how I make my playthroughs. That's just a little bit on, uh, on that that I'd share with you guys since I really was thinking about talking about that on here even though I did a, a little bit now. Is there any reason for this room? I don't, I don't see anything in here. There. Oh, there's a hole. No, not really. Okay, I think I'm done here. Oh, by the way, the controls on the Bioshocks, both this and, oh, I finished seeing up here, both this one and the uh, Infinite, and two, amazing, just absolutely amazing, with the, uh, with the uh, two triggers being like plasmids and, and, uh, weapons, okay, just, oh, I, I just keep my fing fingers on them. And that's all I do, it's... it's whoa. To see you this way, kid. Well, I was there when you were born. You ever have a dog you gotta put down? Breaks your heart. <laughs> Looks like things have gone buster between Fontaine and his little German bean pole. Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with that spooky crowd when he could be getting the gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even reset the door code to 5744. Maybe to be double sure that Vipo don't spout up in his yard again. 5744. 